What's going on YouTube? It is your boy for everyone goes here coming back at you with another awesome Dokkan battle video today They've released uh, some cool stuff the Gohan that was in the world tournament is now a guaranteed SSR ticket on the JP side And they released another LR on the JP side now a lot of people weren't too happy because We're still waiting on the infamous. I'm gonna say infamous now LR blue Vegito now he he is in in the air I don't know what he's gonna show up. They're saying he should be coming out this month or maybe the next month, which is probably the next year, which is January. But let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm not I'm not too upset about it because I am a big fan of Tian and Chaozu because they were the original characters of obviously Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and of course the the uh, the whole story and uh, entourage for that and everything. So that is the new LR. I will show you guys what he looks like, and we'll go from there. So that well, this is what the new SSR Tian Chaozu can do. Passive seems to be 8, 10, K, uh, plus 10K attack, 11, 13 key, uh, 10K defense, 14 plus K, or Kai, or key, whatever you want to call it, 10K attack and defense. Okay, that's not bad. That's pretty insane. So, this is the TN you get, and you obviously need the marks from the World Tournament to awaken this TN into his transcended form from 120 with Chaozu. Where they're wearing their old uniform with the hat and the, the robes and all that and the purple strap around them. And of course, if you get, I think it's the 77, to awaken him into his LR form. Now, as you saw in the stats there, he has <clears throat> key plus 8, attack plus 10,000, uh, key plus 11, or once defense is up to 10,000 up. Uh, then of course more key down there and attack and defense plus 10,000 more It's insane. This this unit seems to be very 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 insane Now I love the art for it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here in front. I do like it, it looks dope uh, I don't hate child or TN. I always have been a fan of their characters It's just that at the time the units weren't as valuable because they weren't Saiyans because of their link abilities their passive skills and stuff They weren't as useful, but there is a TN tech that was good and he was a great support unit for heroes I'm not saying he wasn't great, but still, we're having a lead to go back onto with that and all that other stuff. Um, also, back to the LR Blue Vegito. Now, a lot of people are extremely upset because JP is honestly avoiding the fact of Blue Vegito. Now, we were supposed to get him many months ago, and I know that we've been waiting on him for a very, very long time. And it's been a couple of months now, almost uh, three or four months now. I'm not sure. If, I, if I'm not right, let me know in the comments below. Um, but I am not mad about this unit. Obviously, I am a big fan of Tian and Chaozu. Uh, I honestly was thinking they were going to make LR Yamcha because it, it was close, you know, this this was close. But obviously Tan is, you know, still like a pretty decent fighter, but he's not as strong as Goku or Vegeta or Piccolo or Gohan, obviously. But he still can keep his own and hold his own, so in some sense of it all. But still very happy to see that he is he is obviously in JP. Uh, another LR we're going to have to wait for a long, long time to get, obviously. And um, JP is just pumping out LRs, man, and we're having to wait for one that has been... Uh, eluding us for so long also guys slap a like on this video if you guys want blue vegeto lr slap a nasty like on this video because we really need to get him like i'm sick and tired every time seeing a new lr jp drops and we're sitting here like with our hands in our in our heads thinking what what but anyway let me know if you guys enjoyed this quick video of this new release of the lr also if you guys know that they are releasing the world tournament in jp with that AGL Gohan that was released in the World Tournament not so long ago in the JP side. So you guys can get him through the guaranteed SSR summoning tickets over on their side. And of course, it looks like Goku can transcend 120, as you see when the World Tournament releases. Which is the AGL one that's standing behind uh, the uh, Ozaru behind him, which is him, obviously. So hopefully we get to see the card after that. Also, they did uh, Dokkan Awaken, uh, Goku GT, and Vegeta GT. So you as well can Dokkan Awaken them on the JP side. Also, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the art for TN and Chaozu. If you guys think it's cool, it's great, let me know in the comments below. And I'll like a few of your comments to see uh, what you think of it. And I'll leave my input at it as well. But anyway, guys, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to slap a like if you guys enjoyed this video. And also, slap it again if you guys want to see LR Blue Vegito. Also, once more, once again, make sure to check out all my sponsors in the description below. Make sure you get some jerky XP, some gamer crates. 
and some awesome apparel. Use code GHOST for all of that, and you'll get yourself some great discounts. And as always, guys, stay awesome, stay blessed, and keep playing that Dokkan battle, baby.